Hi, I'm Craig from Black Magic Design and welcome to NAB 2025, where we're pleased to announce the new Pixar's 12K digital cinema camera. Okay, now you may be familiar with the Pixar's family of cameras. So what we've done with the new Pixar's 12K is built the RGB 12K sensor we have in the Ursa Cinema camera into the Pixar's 6K body. This is a small, lightweight, robust little camera system that we designed and released last year, designed to be the most riggable and adaptable camera system in the Blackmagic lineup, um, featuring side monitor with multiple controls, the same Blackmagic control systems, uses BPU battery systems, so we've got a much more powerful battery option within there, multiple lens options, uh, riggable and adaptable EVF and monitoring options on the camera as well, but now super powered with the 12K sensor from our Ursa Senior lineup. So what we wanted to do was bring the most advanced camera technology we have in the Ursa Cine 12K camera down into Pixus to make that more affordable and more accessible for all filmmakers and all digital content creators. But what does that give us? That gives us an RGB-based camera system with a sensor that has 12K resolution, can also shoot in 4K and 8K modes using RGB technology and working at 16 stops of dynamic range within the camera as well. What's really great about the RGB system is two key things. Firstly, RGB itself, we're working at a higher color sampling rate compared to say a Bayer camera system. And then secondly, now this might be a 12K camera and you'll be thinking, why do I need a 12K resolution camera? But when we work at 4K and 8K modes, we use something called in-camera sensor scaling. So whether you're working in 4K or 8K, we're still using the full width and height of the sensor, so you get full field of view, the same characteristics of your lenses as you'd want, but down into smaller data files and recorded media for 4K and 8K. So you get a very powerful sensor system within the camera, designed to work at 12K if you want high resolution for high fidelity or that massive resolution size, but also super practical for delivering in 4K modes as well, with an incredibly powerful digital cinema system, which is in much more expensive cameras from Blackmagic Design as well. So one of the key differences when you look at the recording media used by uh, the Pixar's 12K compared to the Ursa Cinema 12K is we're using internal CF Express, there are two slots within the camera, or external USB-C. The Cinema Camera product range uses our media module systems, so we can record in those cameras 12K in all formats internally. With the Pixar's naturally, it's a smaller camera, it's more lightweight, there will be some limitations to consider. Generally, in 4K and 8K modes, you'll be perfectly fine with the CFast Express, or CF Express mode, sorry. But as you go into the 12K formats, you possibly need to calculate what your data rate speed will be and consider using external recording. Now, there's some really good guides. We're going to have some support information online as to what CF Express media will be supported for Pixar 12K. And also, if you go to the Blackmagic website, you'll find a data rate calculator where you can add the resolution, the Blackmagic raw flavor that you want to use, and whatever anamorphic or aspect ratio you're shooting in. And it'll give you a very precise data speed calculation of what your data will need to be at a right level. And then you can match that to the media you're using with the Pixar 12K. So the Pixar's family of cameras use the BPU style battery systems and you can get those in multiple capacities. The camera itself will operate at between 60 to 80 watts depending on the configuration within it. One of the questions that we're gonna get at the show is by introducing the 12K RGB sensor, what impact that will have on the, the battery life and how does that differ to the 6K sensor in the previous camera. Now there's gonna be a nominal difference that you'll see, possibly a little bit more power draw, but certainly something that can still be used within those BPU systems. Um, we don't need to go to a higher battery power unit or have any kind of external control. There are options where you could add different power systems like V-mounts or, or anything like that, but the BPU battery system within the camera will still be perfectly fine and will operate and work with the EVF monitor or the Pixus monitor externally attached as well. So there will be some differences, some limitations by taking the 12K sensor we have in the Ursa Cine products into the Pixus. It's a smaller camera, it's a different processing system internally, but we do have incredibly high performance within the camera. So we can shoot at 12K um, full open gate at up to 40 frames a second, which is a really usable frame rate for most productions. 
if you're going into something which at the faster end of the uh, performance in the frame rate readouts at 4K or even 8K, 2.4 to 1, we're up at 112 frames per second. So you can get some slow-mo or some extra frames capability within there as well. In terms of readout speed, it is a rolling shutter. It will perform differently in the Pixar's 12K compared to the Ursa Cine 12K. We publish the readout speeds on the forum, so you'll get a full table if you want to check particular resolutions or aspect ratios you want to work in. But roughly speaking, you're going to see readout speeds that are twice that of the Ursa Cine. So a 8K, 4K, 2.4 to 1 readout is going to be around 10 milliseconds, which is really quick for a, uh, a rolling shutter, whereas it's quicker still on the Ursa Cine uh, around 5 milliseconds. Yeah, the intention with the Pixar's camera and the platform was always to make it incredibly customizable. We said it's the most riggable Blackmagic camera system. And at the show, we've, we've brought some new accessories to it. So we have a pro handle, which is very much like a, a good traditional camcorder approach where we have a top handle with the EVF on the back. So if you're prone to wanting to work and shoot through the camera and view it that way, you get a really high quality HD OLED. Uh, you've got a stop start record option in there as well and an integrated stereo microphone. And also there's a pro grip, which you could add to the side of the camera, um, which will give you the same stop start control, but gives you a really nice strap controlled, balanced grip on the side of the camera. And you can use both of these devices together. So they both connect to the USB port, which we use for the EVF here but they will loop through so the two devices can be used at the same time and give you a really nice handheld robust and very solid operation option for the Pixis camera with the new accessories so the, the general difference will boil down to the sensor and the fact we've introduced the RGB 12k sensor to the Pixis product the original 6K Pixus was using the full frame 6K sensor that we introduced first in the cinema camera 6K. So that's a slightly different technology. Uh, it shoots in 6K. If you want to move away from that resolution down into 4K, there'll be some cropping options built into it. And it has certain different performance levels and different um, readout speed performance. Notably, it's a slower readout speed sensor than the 12K and also some differences in the frame rates and how it maximizes those. The 12K sensor is a newer sensor from Blackmagic. It's our own, it's designed by us, and it is a higher performing technology, both in the fact that it's, its color fidelity and its reproduction being RGB is more superior, its readout speeds are faster, and it gives us that in-camera sensor scaling. So whether we're working in 4K or 8K, not really wanting to work in 12K potentially, we get the full width of the sensor and your lenses are exactly where they need to be in focal range and the characteristics of the glass you want to use. Yeah, so you'll notice with current situations going on with tariffs and discussions with our, with our colleagues here in, in the US, that pricing will have increased on the US dollar and on our website. That's a situation where we have to pass on some of those costs at times through it, and that'll be something we expect that you'll see through the industry. Um, I would suggest keeping an eye on the pricing and being aware of what it will be on the US market, and then speak to your local resellers as to what the actual street price will be here in the US if you're buying products you're interested in at NAB or any of the other products we have. Yeah, we're really pleased at NAB to announce we put a beta available on our support pages, which is a PDAF option into the Cinema Camera 6K. This is an autofocus feature we're really pleased to bring to the market, it's something we've been working on for a while. And we know a lot of customers have been asking when will Blackmagic cameras have an autofocus. It's in beta, so we encourage everyone take it down and test us, let us know how it works. There is work for us to do on configuring and standardizing this across lenses. You'll see it working and we've shown it with L mount. We're demoing it here at the show. Now this is something that we want to build and you'll see us developing. Grant in our announcement spoke about bringing this potentially to the Pixar 6K next. The, the Cinema Camera 6K and the Pixar 6K share a technology. They share the same sensor and something that we would look to use. Um, and then following that, there's always potential for us to look at it bringing into following cameras or future camera systems as well. And we know that autofocus is a massively popular technology for us to bring. 
So there are four modes available in the new autofocus system that you'll see in beta with the Cinema Camera 6K. We have a single focus point that you can select and tap on the screen to use. We have a continuous focus, which will function across the frame in itself. And they have two really powerful um, object tracking and facial tracking technologies in there as well. So we have phase detection pixels spread across the width of the sensor. This will help with facial detection so we can see multiple people within the frame. And the software UI will allow you to select and choose which individuals you want to track within the frame. We also have object tracking built in. Using an AI layer, we can understand where objects are you can check on them you can use the on-screen display to say which element you want to track in frame and then we can follow that both in depth of frame and across the frame using those technologies so this is something you'll see in beta right now in the cinema camera 6k and we will be bringing to the pixel 6k as soon as possible So Pixar 12K will be shipping in the summer and we expect to see units with us in July. The camera is available now for order at 6595 US and check the website for any other prices more locally to you. Mm -hmm.